What's up, guys? You guys, one of those guys sitting at home saying, look at those fools using tree saddles like they're trendy hipsters or something. You know what? I was one of those guys too. The Latitude Outdoors reached out to us and decided to take a shot with us. So we're gonna give them a shot too. And we're gonna show you guys how to use a saddle from Latitude Outdoors and how easy it is to get in a tree without any videos or any practice. Just pulling it right out of the box and press into the tree. Let's go along and see how stupid we look or how cool we look. I don't know how it's gonna go, but let's give it a try. All right, we're at the tree. I'm sitting on the saddle right now, the, the Latitude Method. Let's pull it up. And it's cool, it doesn't have a, uh, doesn't have a buckle system, it's all rope, so that's quiet. And uh, that's gonna help out a lot with silence, especially those guys are public land heroes, man. They wanna go real deep, you know. It's quiet. You got these straps here to harness you in. I'll call them crotch straps. I don't know if they have a saddle name for them. It's still new to the saddle world. We just hook these in right here, these loops here, if you can see that. Done. They adjust, you pull them out real easy. And just that little subtle Latitude logo on there just makes it sick. Done. Tighten it down. All right. We got the, this is your bridge here, or your, your tether, this is your bridge, sorry. It just goes around a tree like this. It's a lot better to show you in a tree, but yeah, you get the point, it goes through that hole. So let's go up in the, let's go up in a tree, we're not gonna go high, uh, we're not even using a platform, we're just gonna use sticks just to see how comfortable we are in it and how comfortable the saddle itself is and seeing if it's worth it to get in the saddle hunt. You know, this is new for us. Attach it to your bridge here. And they do have, Latitude does sell linemen ropes. We have them, especially if we're going higher, you need that just for added safety when you're putting your sticks up and get your platform ready. But say you're ready to go, you're on your platform, you're ready to hook up, you get your bow hooked up, you got everything hooked up, you're ready to go. Just hook the tether up to your bridge, get the tension that you like on it. And just lean back, see that's a little too much. I'm a little too far back. I mean, we film our hunts too, so I do want some leg room between my knees and the tree so I can whip that camera around. Wherever I can put my bow, I want to be able to put my camera. So let's tighten this up a little bit. There you go, it's just tension tight. So you just pull, get up, take the tension off, and move, move your tether up. And there you go, you got that tight. But all in all, man, and the method, has this butt seat here, man, if you just want to chill and relax. And it's just so light. And it's, I could sit all day like this. It's comfortable. You got 360 degree angle. And if you put the camera, if you're a self filmer, put your camera at your knee, you got plenty of room. That was always my big problem with watching saddle hunters. Like, where am I going to put my camera for self filming? But this is also great. Say I'm a cameraman and my hunter is in front of me on his tree stand. I could, I could bring this in the woods, say Colt, Tyler, Kyle, anyone calls me, say, hey, I'm on a big buck, you wanna come film me? They don't need to worry about setting up a tree stand that night or anything and spooking those deer. I could just come in the morning with the saddle and get set up. So it works out good. But this is, this is awesome. I'll have Tyler here in a minute throw, throw me a bow and you get a really good picture of what I'm talking about where you have that 360 degree angles of shooting. So Tyler, you wanna grab me a bow and we'll, we'll see how this goes. All right, so we're up in a tree, tree now. now. We're ready to go. Um, we got our secondary camera angle right on the tether, which is another fantastic innovation compared to when you're in a tree stand and you got that secondary camera. And this is all for self filmers. If you're not self filming, just ignore this. You got to turn around, turn the GoPro on or whatever camera you're using as a secondary angle. And then that's movement right there. Now I'm right here. I just go like this. I'm the button I'm on. You, you see how it's 
done. So Tyler, hand me a bow. We'll just give you what kind of better visual with a bow in your hand. So bow's in my hand, deer's coming to the left. I could dig either dig my knees into the tree, which was probably what I'll do for stability. Or you could dig the tree knees into the tree and go this way. And you gotta remember when you're flipping around when you're practicing, remember that arrow is gonna be sticking past your bow. So you gotta you're gonna try to go something like this. And you have damn near 360 degrees of shooting. This is just, there's not much really more I could say besides go get a saddle. If if you're out grinding on public land, even private land or filming, go get a saddle, man, it's worth it. And yeah, it's awesome. You could use anybody, it's up to you. Um, but honestly, what Latitude's doing with this, I don't wanna be biased, it's the first saddle I've ever sat in, but you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I like it so far. We're gonna be using it all summer to be shooting practicing, filming, everything. And uh, so far we are really liking what we're seeing. So go check them out, Latitude Outdoors. Go message us, Full Draw Assassins, and we'll t give you no bullshit assessments of what we think about it. So thanks guys for sticking around. Thanks for Colton Tyler for helping us out. Thanks Tyler for letting me kill the old deer killer there. See he has notches on his bow for all the deer he kills. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start notching the saddle every deer I kill out of a saddle. I think that'd be even cooler. But thanks guys, go check them out, Latitude Outdoors. Check us out, Full Draw Assassins. Um, if you have any questions, we answer anyone. So give us a, give us a shout. Thanks guys. Happy, we're all happy here.